He's always uh, put a ton of time into his game. He's determined. He works at the game harder than any youngster I've ever seen at his age. They're talking about James Blackwell. A 17-year-old from Buffalo, New York, the junior from St. Joe's Collegiate Institute is a standout player who has more than 80 golf trophies, medals, and awards in his 12 years on the golf course. He's very solid and always has been technically, uh, but I, most impressed with his ability to really just worry about the next shot and not worry about anything else going on around him and and pretty well stay focused uh, you know throughout the whole round. St. Joe's golf coach Jack Herland says this year Blackwell took the New York State All-Catholic Championship spot with two over par 74 in the playoffs. Golf mentor Jim Horn. He's a powerful swinger but he is not to the point where he's uh, hits it and it's all over the place. He's very aggressive, but he keeps it in play. He can hit it 300 yards without any doubt. This year, through 11 matches, Blackwell's nine-hole average is 37.6. In his freshman year, June 2009, Blackwell took the New York State Catholic High School Championship. In July 2009, he played in the Men's Buffalo District Stroke Play Championship up against strong contenders like Jake Katz from Binghamton University at Loch Ness Links. For his sophomore year, through four matches, Blackwell had a nine-hole average, 36.3. Unfortunately, he didn't compete in many tournaments because of a serious accident. It was September 21st, 2009, Blackwell had just finished practicing on the golf course. We were going home one night and it was raining and my, I was driving an SUV in a hydroplane and it flipped over like about four times. Uh, I got knocked out and I think the reason why he got hurt was the door was, was jammed and he was trying to bang it with his hand and I think that's why he had a bad hand. Blackwell injured his left index finger, wrist, back and neck. He missed about seven months of practice and playing time, but that didn't stop him. These past few years, I found out it's not so much playing golf. It's more of, you know, just like keeping your mentality up through the entire 18 holes or through the entire tournament, uh, like staying inside the shot all the time. Blackwell says when it comes to golf, Tiger Woods is someone he models his game after. Emulate his swing a lot and try to pick up all these little traits, read his book quite a few times. If I felt like I was struggling with a particular part of my game, I just open up the book and see what he does and see if I can't do something like that. Ironically, Tiger and James share the same birth date, December 30th. And he and Tiger also shared a golf date when James was just eight years old. WGRZ Buffalo captured the moments. What did he say to you this morning, if anything, about this? Uh, wasn't so much saying as it you know, not sleeping. Time yet, Dad? Time yet, Dad? Time yet? <laughs> Blackwell, along with 13 other golfers from Western New York, went to the Walt Disney World's Resort's Palm and Magnolia Golf Course. It was for the 25th Coca-Cola Tiger Woods Foundation Junior Golf Clinic. What was it like when he walked up to you? Uh, kind of nervous. Yeah. Describe the feeling. Like my knees were kind of shaking. I was eight years old, so I was kind of shy, so... I mean, it was fun, it was definitely fun, but now that I'm a little older, I wish I would have, you know, asked more questions, and, but, you know, I was shy, it was fun just to see him. He admits that moment was truly when the fire in the belly golf bug bit, even though he had been playing golf since he was four years old. Horn says he saw Blackwell's potential shining early. Uh, what impressed me most about James was his determination to hit the golf ball. As a little guy with a club too big, clothes too big, hat too big, and, but he was just destined to become a golfer. And Blackwell says he enjoyed the pressure. They wouldn't give me like any room, so if I made a mistake, they'd all be on me about it. So when I started, I started playing with like guys that shoot hundreds, and then once I could beat them, I'd go to guys that would shoot 90s, and then 80s and 70s, and so it was like it was like a competition with them.
These days, Blackwell wants to take his skills to college and later the pros. And Coach Herlin believes he has what it takes. He hits the ball a long way, hits the ball a ton. Um, you know, as far as anybody that I've ever had, you know, in my seven, eight years of coaching at St. Joe's. Uh, but really is his mental toughness and his ability, like I just said, his ability to stay within the next shot, which is, as anybody that plays golf is, knows, is a really difficult thing to do. He wants to be really, really good. And he's willing to dedicate himself to the, to the time necessary in order to, to be very good at this game. James says he spends hours practicing his putting to improve. Uh, that's definitely, without question, the weakest part of my game. And like I said before, if I can get my putting down and my uh, mentality, then I think, without question, I think I could get to the next level. Putting is a lot about being positive. Like when you're positive, the whole, the whole game opens up for you. Where James's passion for golf takes him will depend on just what happens during competition this year. And at least for now, all who support him are anxious to see what's next. Does he make you kind of excited as a coach? Oh gosh, yes. Oh, absolutely. I, I'm. I'm probably more curious to see how far he can go with this than anybody that I've ever coached.